Now, one in five Kiwis will experience a mental health problem this year, and more than half of us will go through distress or mental illness at some point in our lives. It's Mental Health Awareness Week, so we are joined today by Zoe Hawke from the Mental Health Foundation. Good morning to you, Zoe. Good morning. Thank you so much for stopping in, because I think this is really important to discuss. Are mental health issues really that prevalent amongst New Zealanders? Sadly, they are, and what we're seeing is um, about nearly 50% of New Zealanders in their lifetime will experience some sort of mental illness. So nearly half, that, that's, that's a horrifying statistic. Yeah, and, and what's even more, um, I guess, worrying is that globally they predict by 2020 that depression will take over heart disease in regards to the global burden health um, state, I guess. Really? Yeah. Goodness. That that is actually quite ter a terrifying statistic. It is. What's the theme then for this week, this year's uh, Mental Health Week? So I guess what we're trying to promote when it comes to Mental Awareness Week is that um, everyone has mental health. So it's something that we all need to look mm. after, just like our physical health, our tenana, we need to look after that. And the same is with our mental health. So the theme is, because it's proven, that connections with nature can really lift us can really shift us from, from negative kind of moods. So the theme is um, let nature in. And that can happen in your office, at school, in the playground, going out in nature with your community, with your family, with your whanau. So there's lots of different activities that are going to happen throughout the country. It's incredible the difference it does make, doesn't it? Even just going outside and walking barefoot on grass can make a difference to you, how you feel. Absolutely. And uh, last year we did the same theme. And the reason we're doing it again is because 95% of the participants who engaged in our Mental Health Awareness Week said that going outside, touching base with the whenua, with, with our environment, with nature, really lifted their wairua. Oh, absolutely. So what are the signs that we, we may need to reach out for help? I think um, one of the things that we talk about is um, people being okay to reach out for help too. So if you are feeling unsure about, um, I guess, how you're feeling, you haven't, your mood hasn't shifted, um, you're not enjoying the things you used to enjoy, um, you're not connecting with your family, we need to be able to have an environment which is okay to talk about how we're feeling, to talk about our mental health, to reach out and ask for help. Mm. It's natural to have those ups and downs, but if it's Absolutely. a consistent feeling... If it's consistent and we're not shifting and you're really retracting from your usual activities and not getting the same enjoyment that you usually do from those activities, mm. then it's time to think about asking for help and looking around to who you can talk to. Well, that's, that's another question. Who should we reach out to? Well, I get, uh, that's the other issue around um, being able to talk about it because right now people don't. They don't because they feel judged um, and they feel like there's some bit of stigma attached to their mental well-being or, and not mm. feeling that great. So what we need to do is make sure we tell our friends, tell our family that actually this is a normal thing to talk about, to discuss, just like our physical health, and therefore we will find people that are more willing to listen and that we feel comfortable mm. reaching out to. It seems like we are doing that a bit more, like we're talking about the need to talk. So do you think the perception is slowly shifting? I think there's a lot of um, movement, absolutely, and we need to continue pushing that forward and creating a movement. That's why we have Mental Health mm. Awareness Week, where it is OK to talk about it and people aren't judging others. But I still think we have a long way to go. And what should we look out for in our friends and our family? Same thing, you know, if, if you've got a family member or a friend who's usually really social out there, connecting with the world, uh, but suddenly they stop, and it's hard to encourage them to, to um, get out there again or to connect with you and do the usual things that you do together, mm. then I think it's time to ask those questions and not to be afraid about asking those questions. And check in with them. Check in with them, yeah. And just give them a call and say, hey. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. What's the biggest hurdle, do you think, for people living with mental illness? Mm, I, th I think I just kind of touched mm. on that a little bit. Um, and what we find is often people say it's not actually the mental illness, it's the stigma and the discrimination that they're fearful of and that they receive from people they do talk to, unfortunately. So I think the more we can get rid of that and be okay with talking about it, be the sort of person that's able to accept mm. that sort of discussion, no matter how tough it is, then I think we will see that people will recover or deal or learn to figure out how to deal with their mental wellness. Exactly. Because as you say, most people are dealing with it in some way, shape or form. So Absolutely. remove the stigma. So just finally, what can we do to improve or care for our mental well-being? 
It's one of the other things that we're promoting during the Mental Health Awareness Week, which is the five key ways to wellbeing, and it's an international kind of recognised um, evidence-based strategy. There's lots of little things that we can do as well, but this is what we're promoting for, this, for the week. Yeah. Um, and I've got it here actually, and in te reo as well, kairotui te reo as well as English, and it's connect, give, take notice, keep learning, be active. So that's connecting with your friends, getting out there, connecting with your marae, with your culture. Um, there's giving. There's some really strong research that shows that giving to people, it doesn't have to be just money, it can be time as mm. well, um, lifts your wairua, but also the person that you give it to also gets a, a lift as well. It absolutely does. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining us today. Really good advice, Zoe. And if you would like information or inspiration this Mental Health Week, you can go to the website that is on screen right now.